Hi everyone, welcome back to the part 2 of the Valentine series and uh, as you can see I am with another of this heart uh, MDF board and I have already gessoed it uh, backward and forwards and uh, I will start by gluing down this uh, decoupage napkin So I'm using matte medium to uh, glue it down. I'm first applying the matte medium to the board and then I'm going to place uh, the napkin on top of it making sure that it's uh, smooth and then I'll start adding matte medium on top starting from the middle and then spreading out outside. So this is how it looks and now I'll work on this uh, piece of film. Uh, I have traced this small heart by keeping uh, this uh, heart shape uh, board on top of it and with a rough idea I created this small heart and uh, my idea is uh, to add uh, embossing on top of this uh, heart shape vellum piece. Uh, using this text stamp so I first thought of uh, doing the embossing directly onto the paper but um, I was not able to figure where the actually heart is going to be and I wanted to cover all the text the whole heart with the text so I chopped it first and then I, um, I used the stamp So I'm using these two different color. Um, I wanted a little hint of gold, but a lot of uh, pearl uh, uh, color. Uh, this pearl satin pearl, pearl color of the embossing. So that's what I did. I first uh, added a pinch of gold, and then I added covered the rest of it using that uh, satin pearl embossing powder. And now uh, I'm going to glue it down on the board. So I'm using this emery board to um, trim the edges. As you can see that um, uh, I have glued uh, down uh, the decoupage napkin on both the side. So the story behind this was when I first used uh, in on the top, um, I the brush I was using was not cleaned properly and it has some uh, gesso on it so when um, I dried the napkin I saw that uh, the gesso part wherever the gesso was there it was showing up so it was not looking very neat so I redo the plaid um, decoupage again uh, with a clean brush and uh, this is the uh, one I'm using for the uh, as the face of this uh, decoration so as you can see I glued down the vellum using glue dots. There are many ways to uh, glue down vellum but today I wanted to try this glue dots because I am going to use the glue dots for gluing down all these flowers. I don't have a glue gun so that is uh, the best way I can uh, make sure that everything is stuck down and won't come off. problem with glue dot on uh, vellum is that um, when you tilt uh, the board um, uh, when you tilt the design the dot is showing up from behind the vellum so it's uh, if you are going to gift it to anyone then uh, preferably don't use um, glue dots because it will going to show and uh, the vellum will not look neat because the eyes it will draw the eyes of the person who is looking at it So now I'm just doing the finishing touches to the page, uh, to this board. <laughs> um, the vellum where there was it was not sticking, it was uh, 
folding so I use some glue stick to make it straight and this is the quote I will be using which is from the Tim Holtz small talk uh, sticker booklet I first pulled out the black quote but it was not standing out so I pulled the same coat in white color and then it was looking nice so I trimmed it and uh, added it to the page For a change, I have not done any shading and everything on this page, and those glue dots uh, still shows, which is sort of a let down. But I'm going to use this uh, to keep. Uh, I made this for myself. I'm going to keep it, so that's uh, that's okay. But it's it's a learning for the next time. And I think the idea of glue dots is good because nothing is moving 